Okay, guys. We're back. We're back. Okay, it's let Monday. It, let us know it's if the volume. Monday. Yeah, I'm working on. I'm working on damage control. <laughs> Can, hey guys, what? How's the volume? Can you hear us? Okay. Is it muffled? Is it working? Uh, just. Uh, all right. So we're gonna go on, and then that way, if somebody says you're muffled, then that way. Hey Sam. Hey Teresa. Hey Nicole. Hey guys. Okay, so here we go. Hopefully it's good, that we're good before we keep talking. Just let us know. Hop on here and just say, you're good. We can hear you. Hey, Candy, Elizabeth. Hey, guys. Volume, Volume is good. Yeah. Woohoo! Awesome. Thank you. Yes. Good. Thank Y'all are just the greatest, sweetest, kindest group. It's like, y'all just let us know. Hey, Amy, thanks again for your interview today. Hey, Nicole. All right, sounds good. All right, so guess what? It's a new month. It's a new year. It's a new. Hey, it's a what's new. That new. What's that song? Michael Bublé sings. Neither you nor yeah, I can yeah, sing. Yeah, so I, I don't know. They asked me not to join the choir. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, look at this. We have our new color of the month, and so on Mondays we do Color Crush Mondays. And so look at this gorgeous new color. It's called Hunt and Polo, and it's a deep, rich green. Kind of a green blue. Kind of a well, it's it's a deeper, it's kind a deeper a green. Teal. Would you say a dark no, teal? It's a dark green. It's more of a teal. it's a darker green. It's not a teal. There's nothing teal. Oh, teal. There's it's nothing a, teal. Sell furniture. There Mari, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Y'all are gonna just make me cry. Thanks, Maggie. Um we went live just a minute ago and we were thanking you. Um for their prayers. For your and prayers and for your concerns, and it just made me really think again about the value emerald. It's a really good emerald. That's a good. That's a good word. Um, about the value of it's community and the value of community and people and how we were created to be relational and how y'all shown such love. Because um, I'll be honest with you. Um, getting that call and um, getting that call and, and telling us that both of my parents had COVID was really bad. So we were, my heart sank to say the least. And so, um, but I do believe in the power of prayer. And mm -hmm. we are, bum, as I said, bombarding heaven in praying for my parents um, to, to get better. And for all the families, we're just one family. Um, that is affected by this. And there are many, many families affected. And so we need to be safe and vigil and um, take care of one another and pray for one another. So um, I love how different people are like, it's a British racing green. I like that. Yeah, I like that. I like that I like a lot. A better than Emerald. So thank y'all. Uh, thank you, Colleen. Wasn't so, he a famous chef? Emerald? Yeah. Em that was Emerald. Oh. Okay. Emerald, not Emerald. Oh. Okay, gosh, and happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. <laughs> been married a year. We act. We try to act like we've been married a year. We've been married a long time. Um, but that makes it really nice, doesn't it? Yeah. It's, we're not, it's like we ha we're really bad. We, we will work and we'll do things, but we, we make sure we take time out to be able to be a couple. Now people are gonna say, quit talking. <laughs> Show, show us something. Color. All right, show so us the color. not only are we going to show you that the color today, the color crush, and the new color for the color of the month, and the new color for January, um, we're going to show you how to glaze it because this is a gorgeous color glazed. So this new color for this week that you're going to see a lot of posts on is called um, Hunt and Polo. And Jean, would you just show us really quickly if you want to? I have uh -huh. a small can as far as showing them just kind of how to paint it. And if you're new to Amy Howard at Home and to the One Step Paint, it's really an easy peasy kind of product to, to use. Um, the new formula is in a can that has a piece of furniture that's half and half. And it really is fabulous in the fact that once you allow it to cure, um, longer than 72 hours, but once you allow it to cure, you can wax it and things beforehand, 
but it will bond to almost any surface. Um, you can use the One Step Paint on melamine. You can use it on your existing um, kitchen cabinets, your bathroom vanities, your floors, all types of things. And would you just hand me that new map sealer too? If you want to use it on other surfaces that are going to get a lot of wear and tear, you want to be able to use our new matte sealer. Somebody give me a shout out. Who has used this? Tell them. Tell them how fabulous it is. Now, I'm all about patina. And did, were you going to say something? It's the new formula. Gosh, I'm it's sorry. not the new matte sealer. It's, it's the, the new, new formula, formula of the matte sealer. Um, it is really, really fab. It's so fab. It is completely matte. There is no sheen. You will see no brush marks. You will see nothing. It is completely matte, which is great. Um, and then that way, if you want to come back and wax it, and you can. But this is just an incredible, beautiful product. I'm so proud of it. All right, so here it is wet. And I like, a lot of people would say, well, Amy, just show us what it looks like dried. I'm going to do that too. And we're going to show you how to glaze it and how cool it can look because Gene is the glazing master. That was one of the first things I taught him how to do. A rookie, rookie doji, remember? Well, yeah, wall glazing in a customer's home. And, uh, yeah, yeah, it's like uh, Huckleberry, what was it? Uh, no, Tom Sawyer in the fence. Uh, we were dating, and I invited him to come glaze a wall with me. Which is what any crafter's dream date would be, is to go glaze a wall. So, anyway, he wanted to get to know me. So, um... So I thought that this is great. Thank mm -hmm. you for marrying me, yeah. even after I ricky dude you into glazing. <laughs> and now you're painting furniture and you've been doing this. She made up, made up for it with her good cooking. This poor guy's brilliant. It's brilliant. And then um, <laughs> I had you painting furniture and, and toting mm -hmm. stuff for almost 30 years. All right. Fun. So anyway, so Jean's going to show us. I'm going to turn this down. Uh, we are painting um, an oak cabinet door that we've kind of played around with. And um, Amy says it sounds like a first great date to her. First what? First great date. First great date, yeah. Actually, I our first, first great, date, great date, date was a canoe trip with a singles department at Bellevue Church. Because mm -hmm. we met in Sunday school. Because people will ask us, well, where where is a good place to meet somebody? So I say serving somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Serving somewhere, but we met in Sunday school. All right, so um, I'm going to turn this down. So as you ask your questions and stuff, we will go back and ask them later. We love to hear where you're coming in from and just give us a shout out. And um, and if you share this video, guess what? Your name goes in for a drawing day after tomorrow because... How many people are going to share it with? You, well, we tell them to tag three friends tag three. and share this video. And your name will go in for a drawing. And we're going to send this to you absolutely free to the winner. We do this every week. Okay. So let me turn this down and we're going to show you the painting part and then stay tuned because then we're going to, I want to show you how to glaze it. It can make a big difference. So here we go. And um, the well, first thing. Oh, first thing we did, we want to clean with our clean slate to get all the wax, oil, grease, so that we get maximum adhesion with our one step paint because you know wax and grease is going to be the antithesis to adhesion so we'll put that aside antithesis yeah. he has a big vocabulary oh, too yeah. and when i paint a door or a drawer i like to paint the panel first and then do the frame because if i don't i may get my hand or my arm on the frame and get paint uh, all over me so i'm going to do the the panel first and hang with us. I know a lot of you that you've you've watched this and you're going, I'm not going to watch Gene Howard paint another door, which I could watch Gene paint all day long. But we're, we're going to show you also how to be able to glaze this color. Well, you told me you love work. You can watch it all day long. <laughs> he has a good sense of humor. It was funny. Our kids gave him um, a, a joke, but wasn't it a dad's Christmas dad's, jokes? Dad's Christmas joke book. <laughs> all right, so... You're and, going with the grain on and that. And notice, like on the frame, on this uh, trim, I'm painting with the grain. And then on the panel, I'm painting with the grain as well. Just... So the other thing that we need to make sure that people, um, that they know, is that this is not one coat. coat. 
This is one step. Step, meaning we didn't have to strip, we didn't have to sand, and we didn't have to prime the wood before we painted. Now, if, if somebody does put it on too thick, what would your recommendation be? If you put it on too thick, there's a great chance that the paint will crack. And if it does, you'll need to lightly sand, sand lightly sand that crack with some 220, 180 grit sandpaper to try to reduce and remove the cracking and then go back over it with another coat. So we're getting ready to jump on the glazing part of it in just a second, but just to let you know, a lot of people will say, what's the difference between the one-step paint and other paints? A lot of paints out there are glorified acrylic paints. They're latex. just, they just latex. They just have a flattening agent in it. And they're not a true calcium, car a calcium carbonate paint, which we actually do have calcium carbonate in it. Um, and our, our paint smells amazing. Um, it's water-based. You don't have to sand it, strip it, or prime it, and it allows you to be able to get some good coverage on here where maybe it's, um, maybe you're gonna do a milk paint finish or maybe you're gonna do a glazed finish or um, it's just a perfect um, prep for that. But we really recommend putting on two thin coats. Mm -hmm. And in three, if you're putting a light colored paint on top of a dark colored surface, Three coats is not unusual to get coverage, but normally two will Darker do colors like this, two. Yes, this is a darker color paint. And you're doing more of a medium to golden oak color, so the coverage is much easier. Which dark greens, to me, are just yummy. They're really great with medium value wood tone colors, walnuts and things that are gonna be really big. And I'm not gonna make you sit here and paint the whole thing, but I did want people to see it wet mm -hmm. and, and you putting it on. So I'll take this away because we've only got okay. so much time and I don't wanna lose people because I wanna show them how to be able to glaze. So this is a door that we had that's already dried. And we are going to use, now we could leave it like this if we wanted to. We recommend if you're gonna have it in a kitchen that you would probably either wanna put mind your own beeswax on it or you wanna be able to do the matte sealer only because of cleanability. Um, as far as this curing and everything, this is gonna be fine, but as far as cleaning it, you can, and you can wipe it with a wet rag. There are some companies that if you literally wipe it without sealing it, it wipes off. Ours mm -hmm. is not that way. You do not have to seal it, it is strictly an option. But now let's, we're gonna take our gel stain. And I wished we had Smell-O-Vision, but I'm gonna open this up and I want you to be able to see it. This is our Kensington Black. This is a black gel stain. It's really, really thick and really, really yummy. Somebody that's used this, give a shout out to somebody and tell them um, what you think. And so Gene is going to take the Kensington Gel Stain and he's gonna mix it up. How, how are you gonna thin it? I'm gonna do about one to one. I'm gonna use one part stain to one part paint. I mean, one part, excuse me, one part stain to one part water. You are? Yeah. Here, do you wanna come over here just a little bit so that way they can see? So you're doing one to one? Mm-hmm. Another thing you can do, if you don't wanna use water, you can use the glazed over, which is a water-based glazing liquid, which is also, it gives you a little more open time if you're doing larger surfaces, but because this is doing a door, we're just gonna water it down with just regular tap water. So this gel stain has no VOCs. It smells amazing. It's water-based. It's thick enough. The gel, it, that way you can use it on a, a vertical surface, but I am kind of shocked that Gene Howard is thinning this down. It'll be easier for application because when you're glazing, keep in mind, the glaze is just to add a little bit of color on top and to allow that bottom color to come through. And if we put it on straight, the problem is it'll be so opaque that you'll spend a lot more time finessing 
than is really needed. You know what I want to do, babe? I would like to tape. I'm going to tape this in half okay. because I want them to see what the cabinet door looks before glazing and then mm -hmm. after. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to take this masking tape, lay this down, make sure you want to burnish it. So this is our brand new color. If you're just now popping on, please be sure and say hi and where you're tuning in from. And this is our brand new color of the month, our color of the month club, if you're part of it. Um, it's only $42 and you get, um, you are gonna be in a workshop where we teach you about color theory and about using this color on walls, on furniture, what are complementary colors that go with it. Um, and it's, it's just a great workshop to be in. It includes your shipping and it includes a 32 ounce can of paint. And you'll also get a card with this. That's right. And you get a card in it that you can get a 10% discount on your next purchase of anything. So it's it's a great deal. All right. So we've got, we're going to glaze this side, I guess. On this side. You want to glaze the left, the right side? Okay. I'm sorry. It just works easier for All right. That's all right. No worries. Now, I'm going to have an applicator and I'm going to have a finesser. And, you know, finesse. I went to school with finesser. But anyway, she, just kidding. I'm the yeah, only one that laughs at your jokes, Vanessa, babe. Vanessa Williams, you know Vanessa, <laughs> no, Vanessa. And so the applicator is just to, to put on a very light coat. Oh, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. The depth, I, what's going to be fun is for everybody to see with this new Hunt and Polo color is by putting this Kensington Black Glaze on top of it. There it is. That it's, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Oh, this is so great. Hold on to your horses there. Oh my gosh, I'm loving it. Love, love, love. So love. what we're doing, we're just getting a, a nice, even coat over this, making sure we get all the areas. And I'm just, there's no rhyme or reason. We just want a nice, even coat. Now we'll take the finesser. Do you want limb-free rags? We gotta work fast, babe. And then I'll start brushing this out to get that striate effect. Oh my gosh, it's so fab. Love it. Now, I really, my vision for this was not for it to be striate as much as it was modeled. Well then, <laughs> we're gonna change course and we're gonna start modeling. <laughs> Didn't you used to do that, Mom? Yes, yes. Ha, ha, ha. So, after you get your glaze on, Jean cut it 50%. So, after you get your glaze on, you're going to... Um, That'd be a good t-shirt. Get your glaze on. Get your glaze on. Hey, that's a stencil with the Maker Studio. That needs to be a new stencil. Get your glaze on. All right, so... Um, Notice, and then I'm taking the brush, and I'm finessing so that I can kind of pick up the puddles down in the crevices. Lighting's kind of tricky. Yeah. So that way you do, like Jean was showing you, you've got to have an applicator and then you've got to have a finisher. So you're going to have to have two brushes. And once the brush that you are using as the finisher, the finesser, once it gets too saturated, you really need to have a second brush because I don't want you to wet this um, or to get it too saturated. This is a water-based gel, but that, that way you can get some texture. So I'm just gonna come back just a little bit because when you're working with this glaze, don't worry about the lint. There's just a little bit of lint there. Don't worry about it. Once it dries, you're gonna be able to, to flick it right off like that. Okay. Honey, that is so fab. Now let's see. Don't worry about the taking that reveal. tape off. The big reveal. Don't worry about taking that tape off so soon. Ooh. It's not too soon. Oh my gosh. O M G. O M G. O M G. 
OMG. Okay. There you go. Guys. Okay, hold this. We're gonna. Oh. Wait. We're gonna show. Oh. Pull it up. Show them. Look at that. Can you tell? I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> look, guys. Look at this. Look at the difference. So this is the Hunt and Polo color before glazing. Can you tell with the glare? Look at that. Isn't that fab? That is so fab. I love this. I love that. Oh my gosh, gosh, do y'all not see what amazing cabinets this would be? Look at that, the glare of these lights. So sorry. Oh, my, it's my favorite. Kathy, it's my, I know. Kathy, guys, she is, she's the glazing queen and it's so beautiful. Love it. So just to kind of recap on what we just did, tilt it down like that. Does that help? Oh, that's better, isn't it? Does that help, guys? So. Jean, honey, show them the paint. So the one, the color on the left, this is our new Hunt and Polo color. <laughs> and then let's show them the, the stain that we used. The gel stain is the black gel stain Kensington that we- Kensington black. Right here. We used the Kensington black and Jean just thinned it, what, 50%? Half and half, one Look at that, is that so fab? Sorry for the glare. Love that, love that. Great job, babe. Thank you. So, I'm a good teacher. <laughs> Sorry, I'm glad that was better, Leslie. So, anyway, hopefully, look at that. Love it. Love, me. love. I, need my I am so in love with this. Got a date tonight? It's going to look so pretty. I know. We have a date. We have a date. I know. I don't know about y'all, but it's like Mondays. Mondays are rough. And then um, to be able to go, okay, we're going to celebrate this anniversary. We're going to go to a mm -hmm. nice dinner and shut it all out. Mm -hmm. And, enjoy and talk, about <laughs> talk about business. Talk about business. No, we're not. I promise. Indians honor. <laughs> no, I promise. No, anyway, I promise I won't. Oh, we'll talk about. Honor. We'll talk about kids, and we'll. I know what we'll talk about. We'll talk about your land. Our land. I love it's my land. <laughs> when it's a problem, it's mine. If it works. He out, is it so excited. He's so excited. Kim, it is elegant looking, isn't it? Um, I'm so excited. So anyway, so here's the deal, guys. Take advantage of this when we do this. In our, in, our, in our little tribe of people that love redoing furniture. Wait, do it that way. Do it oh. that way. <laughs> if you share this video, um, if you share this video, your name will go in for a drawing and we will be sending out this brand new color of the month, Hunt and Polo, to the winner that we draw absolutely free day after tomorrow. So anyway, it's time sharing is caring. Thanks guys so much. Tune in. I will tell you, I was, um, I was not feeling well last Wednesday. It was actually sick but I'm not, I didn't have COVID. And um, I'm gonna be showing you the finish that I promised you last Wednesday on Get This Look. So I'm excited to show you, you're gonna love it. Anyway, and then we are, we're gonna be working with some stencils on Friday. So you'll see us three times this week. Color Crush Monday, mm -hmm. Get This Look on a great looking blue, really antiqued on Wednesday. And then Friday, we're gonna go over using stencils. Have a fantastic week, everybody. Stay safe. Bye. Bye.